Yeah. You say you've been having these dizzy turns for a few weeks, Mr. Natai. Yeah, on and off. And what were you doing when this one happened? Mr. Natai? I need a doctor, he's gone flat! I've got to take a... Bye, boss. Ready, Carter. Get atropine in the monitor, now. 0.6 milligrams of atropine IV. Should I give him the whole dose, Craig? Yep, go for it. I'll get the ECG machine. He's back. Just had another turn, Mr. Nasai. We're just going to hook you up to a few monitors, see what's happening. I can do that, Tony. OK? And thanks. Hey, I was just, um... Getting changed. I can see that. That was a good game out there. You left very suddenly, though. Yeah, I'd had enough. <laughs> oh, wait, you've got some grass. Bit of witch. Thanks. Pleasure. Hey, um, i better get going. I, I might even have a shower before I hit the wards. Well, we're still going to do that movie after work, though, eh? Sure, yeah. I work with the guy and he could be our next CEO. Oh, please, no, I'm out of a job. You don't know that. He likes Judy's, not fluffy blondes who marry Warners. You told me you wanted to prove yourself. You can start tonight. Tonight? Yes. Hey, guys. Hiya. Hi. I uh, thought you could invite Sarah along too to uh, balance things up. Oh, she'll jump at the chance. Lawrence isn't that bad, and like it or not, he's in the mix. We need to know what he's thinking. Okay. I got something for you there. What's this? Don't know. Open it. See. Oh, it's not my birthday. Yeah, I know. Oh, Hamish. Hamish, you can't give me this. <laughs> Why not? Because it's too expensive. It's too... Everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. no. It's just a watch, Sarah. It, it's nice to look at, too. You know, I, I thought you might be just a little more inclined to check the time, so you're not forever running late. Uh, it's not just a watch, it's... Well, it's a fake, all right? It's a joke, it's a knockoff. Really? What, you put it on now? Of course. <laughs> I thought you'd done something really mad then, something really stupid. You really had me going. Oh. Looking for something? Yeah, surgical gloves, two boxes. Up there. You know what normally happens when a man and a woman end up in here together? <laughs> Lucky me, end up with the most uptight male in the place. Give it a rest, Alice. It's getting a bit old, isn't it? Uptight as is uptight to us, baby. Yeah? Yeah. And unless you can prove any different, then... I just don't know what's going Not that I don't have those feelings, it's just that I don't choose to use them on you. Twelve thousand? No, there must be some mistake. No, Mr. Flynn. But it was valued for insurance at thirty thousand. This is today's market value. My best offer. Will you give me a cash check right now? No, no, take it. Twelve grand. It's yours. It smells delicious. Mm, doesn't it? You see that? No problem. Sarah? Chris was saying you trained as a CNS. Yeah, hard work, but it was worth it. Especially now we've got prescribing rights. It was such a sensible move. You think so? Come on, it takes years to become a nurse specialist. It's knowledge wasted if it isn't fully utilised. Yes, but you're not a doctor. The line has to be drawn. Which is why we have regular reviews aimed at encouraging and empowering nurses. That's how you get good stuff. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd say I was being schmoozed. <laughs> and I'm not even CEO. Uh, yeah, but you are in the running, and we're all curious to know what you'd do if you got the job. 
Well, you know where my passions lie, surely. No surprises there. The specialization of surgical services. Run ED as a processing center. A GP admissions, acute surgical, orthopedics, trauma. The place had hum with efficiency. And what about the rest of the population? Would they be turned away? Redirected to a super ED at Central. It's only five minutes away. It makes sense. Oh, hi. Uh, we were just about to have dinner. You're welcome to join us. Uh, no, no, sorry. I, I didn't realise. Was it important? I can call you later. Oh, no, forget it. You get back to your guests. Gosh, you're late home. Did you get held up at work? That's what I got for the ring. Six thousand dollars? This can't be right. Walk me down with a thump, I can tell you. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. I feel awful. No, you shouldn't. It's not like you owed me anything. Oh, it's not about owing. You're my son. No, I want... Your mistake. The illegitimate one. Ian never forgot that. Neither will I now. Hamish, don't talk like that. You mean as much to me as any of the girls. Uh, but they didn't have to stand in front of that smarmy jewel of feeling pathetic and foolish, taking what crumbs they could get. You know, that's the story of my life. The poor adopted kid, always looking for handouts. Always getting second best. It is not like that. I love you. I will make it up to you. Uh, you know what? I don't want to hear any more. I think it's best if you just get your things and go back to your unit. What? Where are you going? Uh, Hamish, please stay. Talk. I can't. I need time out. You understand? Cork, over the last hundred years, has captured by three generations of photographers. Day by day by day, the first of three documentaries in our Look of the Irish season at 7.30 tonight on One.